Here we have a flower that has both male and female parts. And the important parts are these parts right here, uh, the, uh, the stamens are the male part that produce the pollen. There's a little bit of pollen on my finger. And up here is this little hole up there on the top of this, of this pistil, which is the female part, that receives the pollen. Pollen falls down there, moves down the length of that pistil, and inside here is the ovary. And that's where the fertilization occurs. The, the, the male and the female part get together. That is where the fruit also develops. Eventually these, these petals all fall off and leave a fertilized fruit right there to grow. And the, uh, oh, there's a, look right there, there's a caterpillar that was underneath that flower all along. But the, the fruit will stay green until the seeds inside are ripe and the sugary pulp has been put around it to attract seed dispersers and uh, usually gives it off a different color to give the seed dispersers a, a signal that now I'm ready to be eaten, I'll taste good, come and eat me, and the seed dispersers will often take the whole fruit, sometimes swallow it whole or chew it, move it away or pass it through the digestive system so that when they finally eject the seeds that are undigestible, they'll be very, very far away from the parent tree and the seed dispersal will have taken place.